and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last Demacia deck of the day for Demacia Day. We have Barrier Midrange. This version is the one with Fiora again with Shen. New champion from Ionia. New, new for me. I haven't played um, a Shen deck before. I haven't really been that impressed with Shen playing against Shen. And I've kind of said that I think this is the weakest champion. But I haven't played it myself. So we got to do that. So here we are. Um, so, you know, it has support kind of like War Chefs, but it gives the support ally barrier. And it's a 2-5, so it's a lot bigger. And then whenever Shen has been out and allies have gained barrier four plus times, then levels up. And so then at that point, uh, whenever an ally gets a barrier, it gets plus three, plus zero. It's a lot of work for that. I don't think the card's super powerful. Uh, you think the weakest champion is Yasuo? I think Yasuo is pretty powerful. You know, it could be a removal and everything. I, I haven't... That's That'll be the last champion for me to play now. Shen is the second last. But anyway... Um, yeah, so like, you know, we, we have that. Plus we have this Green Glade Caretaker that I always think is pretty meh, but people play in the deck, so we're going to we're gonna try it out. Um, but yeah, whenever any ally gets a barrier, it gets plus two, plus zero permanently. So it can, it can grow large power-wise, but not really toughness-wise. Um, besides that, uh, the deck, we got one Radiant Strike, one Purify, one the back-to-back -back in here. We'll try the, the Bright Steel Formation at the top end. Three Radiant Guardians uh, help out against aggro, I guess. this I'm not sure if that's too much Radiant Guardian, because I feel like it's going to be controlled. It'll be our tough matchup anyway. But um, but yeah, this is uh, some barrier mid-range. Let's, let's give it a try. I've, I'm not as confident in this deck as the other three. I feel like the other three are most likely going to be better, or could be better, but... I've been surprised before of how decks do. <clears throat> the green glades can get out of control, but I, I feel like they're still just always like a, you know, pretty easy to kill because like their toughness doesn't grow, right? So like every single time they're in combat, you have to protect them. That's how I feel, but it is just a one drop, so it's it's not like you need to invest too much in them because that is. They are just a one drop. Well, actually, we're playing aggro, so we should probably keep Radiant Champion. Or Radiant Guardian. Uh, I'm not sure what our rank was at the start of the day. I think it was like five, six hundred, something like that. It was pretty low. The Bannerman's Ed in, in Augmented Demacia, whenever we started like 4 0 with that, we really ranked up. We got up to rank 30. That was our highest. Flavor and spice. Of course I'm ready. Batter him. No one goes hungry. <laughs> oh, I guess probably drop in some frames with. Um, with the upload going, my internet's not been as good th these last you know, three, four days or so with, with more with everybody like at home using using the internet, and so now doing the upload also it, you know, drop a little frames, but it says it's two minutes left for that, so hopefully that's done very soon. Oh, I should have, I should have barriered this thing. I can do this. Yeah, a lot more people using bandwidth now. Just gonna put this here. Don't mind me. <laughs> Your cell phone doesn't work very well now. Can you stomach this? Better run. Eat up, Fred. Yeah, Radiant Guardian is just a really good card against aggro, and so like with a lot, you know, there is a decent amount of aggro in spider decks and stuff like that in the metagame, and so the more those kind of decks are, then more people play Radiant Guardian, but 
Um, if if you're so like you said that you seem like the least deck splash this card. Basically, if you are playing a deck that. Um, Yeah, that's how I want to do it. Give this a barrier for that. Pump this thing up so it doesn't die to this. If you're playing a deck that you think is going to be good good against control, like an Elise deck, like if you think you have a good control matchup, then maybe you just struggle against like other aggro decks like where you want Radiant Guardian to be a big blocker. I could see that. Should try blinking jinx sometime. stands for jinx. Like this block really worked out well for me. Looks like we blocked pretty good. This is going to be two, four, seven, eight. Yeah, so that's eight. I want to make sure this was a lethal attack before I made it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could have had Chen support the Green Glade. I just figured the Green Glade was going to be blocked, and I wanted the other things. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't really. I didn't really need to support that that War Shafts. It's very true. I basically just wanted wanted to make sure that that we had eight power with the other things. Well, I kept that Radiant Champion in hand because we we're playing against Aggro, and we never cast it. <laughs> So maybe I didn't need to keep it in hand. A Radiant Guardian. I'm just going to call that thing the wrong name now, aren't I? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I, I definitely, yeah, I should have barriered the, the giant one drop. So this is Iceborne Spider deck with, with Karma. It looked impressive earlier when we played against this deck. Well, that, a 
A fight's a cooking. We have two of our six Ionia cards. So there's only four others in the deck. So we're going to have probably about four out of 32. So we're probably going to have a... Oh, good. Three. Three out of 32. Oh, gosh. We have over a 90% chance of hitting with Bannerman. This deck, when we played against it earlier, did have Withering Whale. In it, and so that's why I kind of want to play the Bannerman right away. Don't think I need to play Shen immediately. One banner, one destiny. Even though playing Shen first and then next turn playing Caretaker plus Bannerman would be would mean that the Caretaker and the Shen would have the bonus as well. Decide I am going to do that with them having all these extra two ones. Um, we'll have the war chefs pump up the caretaker so it has the three toughness. Or I could just barrier this, this caretaker and have war chefs pump this thing up and make it a 4 3 to be able to eat I walk this space between the shadow assassin. Do need to worry a little bit about Withering Whale. Hmm. Just because I can cast single combat doesn't mean I'm supposed to cast single combat. Withering Whale is a 5 mana fast spell that d does 1 damage to all of your opponent's creatures and you gain 3 life. Yeah, that's that's a good call, yeah. Yep, save single combat for uh, Legacy, for Iceborne Legacy whenever they play that card. Um, also, save it for Karma. Be good as well. But yeah, you can see that they got both of these. <clears throat> both of these caretakers got them with one toughness now. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. There's no Iceborne Legacy in this deck. Yeah, that's right. You're right, you're right. Good call there, Atro. <laughs> yeah. Used to used to that as well. Last time they played two vengeances, so that's another card to be thinking about. Vengeance. Come close. Vengeance is pretty good against Radiant Guardian. Fight. Um. I could like see if they attack with the, I could just pass here see if they attack with the least just block with like something and then try to get radiant guardian turned on but
This is more than 10. Gotta have something. I wouldn't be surprised if their deck has like one ruination. And so like just in case they have like one ruination, I don't want to um didn't want to play another like Swiftwing Lancer or Radiant Guardian before combat. Obviously Radiant Guardian's not as good anyway, but just the Lancer. Don't want to play that pre-combat, so we're just going straight to attacks. So there's the Withering Whale. A second Withering Whale. The second one is rough. Um so do I use single combat now? Have the Bannerman trade with Elise. My 5-4 doesn't die. The problem with doing this is, is that maybe Karma takes over if we do this. I think it's worth it. Let's let's do it. I want to keep this 5-4 out. We basically just spent two mana to have Swiftwing Lancer still available. Guides me. That's basically what we did. We just played a two mana Swiftwing Lancer. A 5-2 Swiftwing Lancer. Return to us. Again, I gotta be scared of a little scared of ruination, which is why I'm not just throwing down the bright steel formation. Lookout's the worst card to hit. That did not work very well. Ionia speaks through me. Really did not work out well at all. It's like worst case scenario. Yeah, so the reason why they made this card an elite in the last patch was just to try to make it a little bit more playable. Um, you know, especially like in, even in, in limited, like in draft, so you can draft it in your elite deck and everything and, and just make it, you know, it's, it's not like a great card anyway, but they just wanted to, you know, like their goal is to have like every card be somewhat playable. Um... Yeah, it's still not great, but you know, like there's there's times like when you're trying to stuff your deck with like elites, especially in draft, that this thing being an elite is is uh, a benefit for sure. However, the problem is is that it did make the Swiftwing Lancer worse. How you create an elite in hand because now now you're creating this elite sometimes, which has happened a decent amount today, and it's it's the worst card you could possibly make. It's the worst elite. So it's, I, I'm not sure if they thought about the power down to Swiftwing Lancer that it would be. We 
end this here. I'll stop you. Wish they just didn't have nine mana. Ugh. So difficult to play against this this deck with like karma. A whole lot of mana. I want them to play something and therefore go under nine mana and then I play like another Elise and then I'll play my Bright Steel Formation. There's nothing to do. See, there we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just took forever. Hopefully they're out of Withering Whales and Grasp the Undyings and those kind of cards. I think they're playing Dusk. Dawn to Dusk, that six mana. Slow, slow speed spell. Oh, my opponents have been playing slow. Every decision. Just pass priority. Take eight damage. You can do it. Sure, you can do that. That's fine with me. Sweet. Always a hard fought win. Like the that you know, just the Karma Shadow Isles decks. Either way, win or lose, playing it, playing against it, no matter what, it's it's hard fought. Those are some it's a it's a hard fought deck. GG's. It's So we're playing Noxus? What are we playing Noxus for? This deck shouldn't have Purify in it. Purify's not any good. What are we what are we playing Noxus for? I don't think we're playing Whirling Death. Is there anything from Noxus that like targets multiple people? Let's go to the card gallery. I long for a 
sehr brennend. Ah, uh, yeah, that card. That card's good. So maybe that card, Culling Strike. Could be playing like Culling Strike. No, because they're playing Heimerdinger also, so they gotta be playing something pretty controlly. I sense an imbalance. Try me. I feel like this is kind of too greedy. Too greedy as in I should just do this. Feel the sizzle. It must be done. I never hold that. No one goes hungry. Noxian Guillotine. All right, well. Yeah. My play was way too cute and absolutely horrible against Noxian Guillotine. So. Yeah. Horrible play against Noxian Guillotine. Answers. I have them. Head to the base. Eat up, friend. Yeah, Bannerman is real good. I play a linchpin in a lot of in these Demacia decks. Opponents ahead. I don't think they gave up. The Pretty sure they're winning. Like, they have Heimerdinger, and I can't kill them. They win.
them having all those spells with like the one mana, yeah, you know, like the zero mana loot, uh, that put a jury, jury rig into play. Also, like that was just an awesome turn for them, getting all those super cheap things. Um, I also, of course, played terribly against. I play terribly against the, um, against Noxian Guillotine. I didn't know, I couldn't think of like what, what they were playing out of Noxious. That's, that's the card they were playing, Noxian Guillotine. Play terrible against it. I don't want to go down to five and just let a Mystic Shot and a Get Excited kill me. Yeah, I mean, it was all about like that attack that I just got completely blown out by that noxious guillotine. You can't can't make mistakes against a deck like this, like that. And then, of course, they had the turn five Heimerdinger and just went crazy with it. Oh, I should have pumped up this thing. Don't let him get that trade in. Doesn't really matter, this game's over. Could have had an, another one toughness creature. Check me out! Your archaeological instrument in the So going Static Shock, Static Shock, Noxious, Noxion, Guillotine combo, huh? And you get the 3-2 stun. Looked pretty good, looked pretty good. Yeah, control decks are definitely going to be, they can be tough. They, they can be tough. You got to kill them early and our, our deck doesn't necessarily have that ability. That's why I like the idea of the Augmented Experimenter in the deck. The previous version that we played with Augmented Experimenter gives us some card advantage. Ugh. It's my least favorite card in the deck. Why do we have a 9-drop in here? Yuck. I don't I don't think that pursuit would be very good in this deck. But I could be wrong about that. It, it could actually be okay, like, especially with maybe it's better because of Shen. You know, having support creatures probably makes that better. Twilight 
Hey, Let's over hamster. A chill in the air. It must be done. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, it was right on my tail. Yeah, I'm not sure about cosmetics. For the game there, the cosmetics they have in here are kind of expensive and Not getting big enough numbers to afford them right now. What do I want to play? 4-4? Four, four. You're covered. Duty. Selfless. So now so they'll they'll try to eat Shen with the 5-1. So I have to use the repost to pump the power of the Fiora so it doesn't just die. Oh gosh, and then they just have that. Wow. Wow, what a brittle steal. Well. Many tribes under one banner. Smell that? A fight to cook it. I'm gonna try to get some more creatures out before I banner them in. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Gosh. You cost way too much mana to ever impact the game. What are you doing? Ideally, we'd play the caretaker first. So I think they're just they're just going to combat. And we can't play the caretaker first. Only the finest serve. GG's. A 
true Falyorian welcome. Dang. That brittle steel got me pretty bad. Like, I expected this to be the weakest version of the of the decks that we're playing today. That was kind of my expectation, and that's how I'm still feeling. I don't like my chances against Heimerdinger Karma. Don't, don't like my chances here at all. But, with that being said, this is a good hand. Got good early pressure. Which is what we need. I'm actually not... I, I'm not exactly sure if... You know, bearing, barriering a creature that already has barrier that does level up Shen some more. I'm not sure. Alright, so something that we have to watch out for with all of these one mana cards is Static Shock. Gotta be careful. Smells like opportunity. Okay, it, it did whenever we did it before. My shield is yours. The eye of twice sees all. It's it's honestly probably better to have the tracker out instead of this thing, so I could you know saving the bright seal protector. But again, I don't want to have both of my fleet feather trackers out and just let them if they have another static shock, just let them get all that kind of value with a second static shock. Do you like Stand United? I think Stand United's a good spell. Wow. <laughs> I want to barrier the 3 2, which then means I have to do it this route. Maybe I should barrier. Actually, I should. I should just barrier. The war shafts, but then they blocked a 4 3. So that's the thing, I didn't want them blocking a 4 3. I said I didn't love that matchup, but I thought that was a very good hand that we had, and that very good hand paid off. Alright, we got this chest. 
Looks like a gold chest. Let's see what it is. It is a gold chest. Crack it. Bunch of extra copies of stuff. We got an Absorb Soul. All right, we got a common. Oh, it upgraded to a diamond chest. It upgraded to a diamond chest. I was like, how does this gold chest have all this stuff? Because, you know, you can see it has four four pages of stuff. I was like, gold chests don't have four pages of stuff. Get a bunch of rares. And then also 700 shards. Diamond chest. Diamond chests are the best chests. Nice. Yeah, that was that was nice. That was a whole bunch of shards. I actually haven't completed any of the regions. I have like all of my regions are on like 18 or 19, except for now the Shadow Isles, it's on like 10. So I actually haven't gone <laughs> haven't actually completed any of them. But I just got them up to like the the champion wild card at the top end of them. I just didn't do the the last part. But, so they're all in like 18, 19, and now this one leveled up. Because I did, I got them all to level 8 first to get the champion capsule. And then after that, like champion capsules at 16, but then it's like champion wild card at either 18 or 19. That it kind of switches between them. And so, yeah, so then this one is level 12. This is the one that's lagging behind. Thank you. These woods protect their own. Never like playing against people that play super slowly. They took forever to play their turn one spell. It's not a good sign. I am one with the land. I pull the string. It's a 3-4. Barrier make this thing a 3-2. That doesn't seem quite worth it. That was a great, great Omen Hawk for them, that first Omen Hawk. A symbol worth fighting for. <laughs> it was right on my tail. Hmm. So now they get an ash. Get to just curve out into Ash Man. Yeah, this is so that turn one Omen Hawk, turn two, three, four Elise, turn three, a four, three Arachnoid Horror, and another Omen Hawk. Turn four, play Babbling Beer, go grab Ash. My assumption, they didn't just play Ash though. Figured that would have been them playing Ash. Safeguard our citizens. No, we missed. So we either have Shen or Caretaker on top, so it's got to be Shen on top. Just statistics wise, it's got to be, you'd think it'd be Shen. Yeah, single combat's good when your creatures are bigger. Defend 
Hunt our banner. My life for these lands. Nature blessed me. Heed my words. <laughs> yep, there's a the shine. Not. I find them unworthy. Leave the target. These brittle steels are just killing me. They're just killing me. Just killing me. This isn't so bad. I mean, like, if this happens, like, we're only taking five and getting rid of their two champions. It's just obviously not going to happen. No, come on. Okay. That's still not great, but for a last card, that's still not great, but I thought they were going to have like something that was going to frostbite my or kill my radiant guardian or something. But still that's a pretty good last card. Um so 9 mana, 9 mana worth of stuff. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Feel the sizzle. Ugh, man, we know they just drew another ash, so now they have another frostbite card. So I can frostbite this. Eat up, friend. Follow the dog. Okay, or they're just planning on playing the other Ash. I will unite the Frail Yard. Virtue guides me. Well, we know they have a. Let's say we think they should probably have a whole bunch of tricks in hand. They're not. They're not playing units. 
Like they have to be holding like flash freezes and stuff like that. Or just harrowing. That was a really disappointing game. They just had everything in the beginning. Just absolutely everything. Their first six turns you could not you could not play any better. They had everything they wanted. It was just just absolutely perfect. Like if you if you could design the first six turns it couldn't get better. You know, like turn one Omen Hawk and then Omen Hawk hits Elise. All that kind of stuff. Oh well. Babbling Bjerg did look good in their deck. That's a card that I've, you know, kind of been back and forth about of, like, how impactful is it kind of thing. And it looked good. All that fancy play did is just trade one for one. You know, you can see we have the exact same number of cards. It's just a different way to get there. And of course we get to, we can barrier the tracker. We also just don't have to barrier the tracker. You know. Get to worship it. Save the barrier. All right, we're four and three. This is going to be a tough matchup. I think I want Lancer. I don't really... don't think we really need Shen. Shen's four, four mana card that only attacks for two. This deck we need to get as much damage in as fast as possible kind of thing. But Lancer hits hard and is card advantage, so I'm keeping the Lancer. Attack. So obviously I, I mulliganed away Shen. So what do you think we're going to draw? Talk about how sh this isn't a good matchup for Shen. Obviously, we just draw Shen. Shen. Doing this allows them to avalanche away these two creatures before combat. Um, I'm just allowing that to happen. If they play avalanche, they're not playing Catalyst of Aeons.
when you're playing the deck that when you're playing this deck, all you want are Catalyst of Aeons and I'm oh, sure that's fine. All you want are Catalyst and Avalanche. Box is pretty good too, but you know, I'll take that. Takes four of their mana. This has been the worst card in our deck, Purify. This has been the worst card. This would be, would be better as a another Radiant. What's that, what's that spell called? Radiant Strike. Yeah, Radiant Strike. Or another unit like the the four mana, I don't know, one of the Vanguard cards. Four mana, two, three, give another one of your creatures plus two, plus two. That's something I would be interested in playing. The eye of twilight sees all. Yeah, there's not as much elusives. Um, we haven't really faced other Demacia decks. Like it's it's pretty decent in like the other like Fiora bar barrier matchups. But but yeah, I agree that I, I think that just overall it's not as good right now as it used to be. Yeah, there purify. Yeah, that's purify is very very high upside. There are times when it is just incredible, but. We've played eight matches. This is match number eight, and it's done absolutely nothing. And it's, it's yeah, it's not been good. I think that I'm just playing the. I think it's lore. I think it's Vanguard Blade Keeper. I think that's the name of the card. I think that would be just a a more consistently good card. Thanks, Melvrax. It is not yet there. I could see my opponent having Withering Whale. Keep on getting this crappy one for him. Like, how do the... Like, besides, like, how does this hit you real hard whenever you're playing spiders? Our hand is just awful. We've not only drawn three shens. You know, I mulliganed away shen, and we've drawn, we've drawn all three shens. We drew this purify. Those are the four worst cards in our deck. Okay, crowd favorite and they who enter. Gotcha. Uh, shen can be good against other creatures. This is a matchup where shen is very bad.
we have drawn horribly. We don't really, we don't really have good draws anymore. This game's over. Like, I don't even know what we could draw to keep us in it. I don't know. I mean, I guess like we're just gonna barrier all of our stuff all the time. All they have to do is play a ruination, and it's over. Just even. I don't know. I guess like a Nivea we have covered. I guess with a million barriers. GG. We can play our four mana card that attacks for two. The balance requires a so scary. <laughs> I find them unworthy. This has just been silly. Yes, Purify is very good against elusives, yes. But it's just, there's just not that many elusives running around right now, especially with cons Navori's Conspirator. Um, it's just not a deck you play very often. It's just, there are times where Purify looks amazing. There are times, but there's also a lot of games like that we've been playing. We've, we've drawn it like three times now, and there hasn't been a single thing to do with it as it, whenever we've drawn it, and it's just, it's just been a dead card. So I don't think it should be in the deck. Alright, that opponent's playing way too slow for a game that's over. I'm not gonna sit there and waste more time. Moving on. We have all dead cards in hand. Yeah, no, Elusives isn't that bad of a matchup for this kind of deck anyway. Our decks looked real bad the last two games. Real bad. Oh, well, got a lot better. That Fiora is the best card we could draw at this point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Shen can be good against a lot of stuff. It's just not not these decks that we're playing against. Space between worlds. Night falls. Nature blesses her followers. That's a good draw. We each defend our brethren. The dark beckons. Safeguard our citizens. Escape. It's too late for you. It is not yet there. Master, nature bless. I don't want them to be able to just use a static shock to be able to kill this thing. 
I don't want it to go down to one toughness. Ionia speaks through me. Hmm. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. For the glory of Demacia. Whoa, we leveled up a Shen. That's not Raven. Dang, that's a good card. of will. Dang, can you do 15? I even cast this, so th this is basically just do six damage. No, I won't cast it. Just replay Shen. It's nice not having to worry about ruination. That's nice. and four that version did not seem as good as for karma that did not seem like the the best karma version instead of you know playing karma with shadow isles i don't think that was the best karma deck so i so I guess that means that I like Karma Shadow Isles more than Karma Heimerdinger. Which I didn't really know that I preferred that before that match. But after just playing that match and just playing against it, I, I would much rather play against that than Shadow Isles cards. But of course they didn't have turn 5 Heimerdinger. That could have made things a different story. Um... This is weird. Normally this is a matchup I would want to get rid of Shen, but I guess Shen can keep pumping up this caretaker. This is weird. I guess I'm just gonna keep this. Oh, 
Yeah, barrier midrange is Demacia midrange for people who don't like their creatures dying. Basically, if you want to use this, the Shen that looks looks super tough and has this like huge sword and everything, but like only attacks for two. Only has half the power of its CMC. That's not a good sign. This art on this caretaker is kind of weird. I don't know. It looks like it does like that. Like in the the in the small version, it doesn't. It looks weird in the small version, basically. I don't know how to how to describe it, but it's like like the neck is like super long, and then like a little tiny head for this huge body. I don't know. It, Something a little off about it. The balance requires a watchful eye. In the small version. It looks just fine here, and then it looks just fine here. But the small version looks weird. Uh, you. Yeah. Mr. Heimerdinger, you seem to be the problem. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. Feed Demacia! Enforced equilibrium. Go and trespass here. No one goes hungry. Oh no no! Oh I didn't. Oh I didn't use the challenger to take Heimerdinger. Uh. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are under my protection. All right, going for lethal. Good thing I didn't get the Heimerdinger. Look at that. <laughs> this deck is golden. <laughs> the Gilded Barriers. All right, so we finished six and four. There with the barrier mid range. 
So yeah, Shen Shen was Shen's not like a bad card. It's just compared to other champions, it's a little, it's weaker than other champions. But it's not like a bad card. We saw it do do a lot of good things. Uh, as far as our deck goes, I think we had our two two worst cards as we talked about. The Purify was not good, and then honestly, Bright Steel Formation just cost too much. Like you really shouldn't be playing this card. This card costs too much. The only time it's good is like if you're playing against another mid-range deck and it's very grindy and you guys go to a late game, then you can have this Bright Steel formation. That's the only time. Against aggro, it's way too slow. Against control, it's way too slow. The only time it's good is against mid-range decks like that. And that's just not that's not a, a, enough percentage of games that it's worth playing. So I wouldn't play Purify or uh that nine drop i want to recommend either of them and i think like you could play like vanguard redeemers like cards that we could play we could play vanguard redeemer get a little card advantage or the laurent blade keeper to help pump up you know help pump up fiora since we're we're pretty all in on fioras um also good with it this is good with the blade keep the caretaker because the caretaker gets big but the toughness, you know, doesn't really change. And so Blade Keeper, you know, kind of like the same way as Bannerman can help out there. This could definitely be a Judgment deck also. I think if you want like a, a card just to blow people out, Judgment can be that as well. If you, Like I'd rather have Judgment than a Bright Steel Formation. If you want some like big top end card, I'd recommend Judgment. Um... Anyway, I think I'd probably just play a couple Blade Keepers or one Blade Keeper and a Radiant Strike. Uh, wow, this deck only has 11 spells. It seemed like we had a lot more than that. Radiant Strike, Radiant Strike bleh, has been has been pretty good. I've been very happy with it. The Radiant Guardian didn't look amazing. Maybe we just take that out, get this other Radiant Strike in. There we go. Take out a Radiant, a Radiant Guardian also. Get a couple Blade Keepers in here. And get that Radiant Strike in. Um, yeah, yeah. So you mean, yeah, the problem with Shen. Not Zed, yeah, you mean Shen. But yeah, yeah, Shen doesn't do anything on its own. It's a tax for two for four power. Yeah, it does not do anything on its own. But uh, there we go. So there's Barrier and Midrange. So those are a couple of changes that I would recommend. All right, for those of y'all watching on YouTube... Hit that like button over there, and of course, leave that comment. Those likes and comments really do go a long way. Let me know what out of the you know this was Demacia Day. Which one was your favorite? Uh, which one do you think has the most potential? All that kind of stuff. You know, how'd you like the um, all these different versions? And if you're play, you know, if you like this version, if you're playing it, um, let me know what you think of these changes with Blade Keeper and Radiant Strike. Um, and yeah, let me know how this deck's going for you. All right, but that's Barrier Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.